Uh, great stream today. Thank y'all for really just rocking out with me. I know Joe gonna have a good time cutting this bitch up. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Is there anything else in here? Spit out a few topics. I could get to it real quick. Young Thug update. He won't be back to court. I believe he's back in court either this week or next week. Lil J sampled my voice on his album intro. Oh, oh, great! I like it. Oh, yo, and by the way, um, um, uh, you know, I, I know Lil J reached out to me, and I did have contact with him. I apologize to him. Um, you know, it's taken me a little while. You, you gotta remember, niggas try to like put some dirt on my name for a second, and then you know, I start moving around a little bit. But I definitely want to make sure I get that that, that interview with him. Um, salute to Lil J and salute to all those guys from Chicago. See Breezy, we talked about Breezy already. The interview, oh, oh, the Tariq Nasheed, yo, that's going to be fire. It's me and him, like, you know, again, I think he's really entertaining, so we're not, definitely not beefing, but we go at it. We go at it a bunch. Me and him go at it a bunch um, during this interview, and, and I'm, like, excited for it. I recorded it at the Spotify headquarters in L.A. I recorded Match It at the Spotify headquarters in L.A., actually. Um... So I was out there, and, and Spotify is a beautiful place out there. They're like, yo, use it anytime. So anytime I go to L.A., now I'm going to be at Spotify. Like, damn. Like, I wish I had this in New York. Um, What else? Ball stop O-block shooting? Ball stop? Is Ball, ball stop doing a shot, did he? Oh, talk about Candace Owens. Um. Yo, I did a phenomenal interview with Candace Owens, and I stick by it. I think she's amazing let me tell you this man i see uh yo I, you remember when i told y'all i was like yo nobody invites me to podcast like one of the few times when i did do a podcast i went to like um where'd i go i went to toronto and they booked me some podcasts and they were like oh man i know we know you're probably like super busy and i'm like you know none of these niggas invite me to like do a podcast that's when the fucking industry was hating on me this is why, like, when people ask me oh, who, why I interview, who I interview, I tell everybody, suck a fucking dick. You get me? Y'all never accepted me. That's why I interview all the niggas I don't like. Suck a cock. I'm going to interview six, nine, 30 times. I'll interview uh, a young boy a million times. I don't give a fuck. Y'all never accepted me, so don't be getting mad at who I interview. So now I just give I give a platform to the people who I find interesting. I, I'm not beholden to nobody. Suck a dick. So I wanted to talk to Candace Owens. I liked her on motherfucking, um, what's that shit called? On uh, um, full send, bro. I hit her up. I thought she was gonna give me mad red tape. She was just like, "Yo, just schedule my, my my assistant. We could do it." I went to Nashville. It was amazing. Um, actually, that was the same time niggas was spreading shit about me online. I didn't tell y'all, but I was with her at that time. And um, you know, she's nine months pregnant. And and I said to her, I said, "Damn, you probably get mad interview requests. You're a big deal, like in in the political world." She says, "Ack, would you believe me if I told you nobody ever asked me for interview?" And I looked at her and I said. That's where we're similar. Every motherfucker has a lot of shit to say about me, but none of them wanted to talk to me. So I'm glad I interviewed her. And I interviewed her. And by the way, that even spawned because I, I was reaching out to Tariq before. Tariq, like, yo, she mentioned me. And I know you wanted me to do an interview. When you come to L.A., let's do it. I did the one with Tariq. You know, I don't know if these are people that people would naturally put on their platform, but I don't really care about that. Like, that's why I loved interviewing um, um, Hassan Campbell. And I'm going to just be honest, man, like, like, these are the interesting people. Like, if you play too safe, it's going to be whack. So I'm very happy that I gave all these people platforms. I like Candace Owens. I didn't just interview her for clicks. I like her. I, I don't have to agree with everything she says, but I agree with, I think, the majority of what she says. I ain't going to lie to you. Nigga, that's another thing about these other bitch-ass niggas in this media shit. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm a sellout or not, nigga. Y'all just try to cancel me. He's big act, nigga. I'm not going nowhere. I'm richer than ever. Fuck you, niggas. I'm going to do what I want. Sorry to tell y'all. I wanted to interview Candace Owens. I don't hate her. I think she's cool. I think some things I could disagree with her about, but I'm not a nigga. Like, I've seen mad people with opinions. Oh, my God. Why would you interview? Fuck you, okay? Now, I'm not saying I'm interviewing every motherfucker, right? Because it, it, if you ask me to fucking interview... Like some vile, disgusting person, in my opinion. I won't do it. But, nigga, I'm not. That, that's one of the things I realized. Like, bro, I ain't built this platform just to, like, play in a safe area for y'all. Like, just like 
Nigga, recently I've been fucking with Trump. Nigga, I could tell y'all niggas, who gonna beat me? Who the fuck gonna beat me, nigga? Nigga, I'm, if, if I vote right now, I'm voting for Trump. Sorry, get mad, I don't care. And honestly, I just realized that's just the beauty of owning my own platform, bro. I just don't gotta do shit on that. Nigga, I sent that, I sent the Candace Owens shit to Spotify. I told him, if y'all don't wanna do the extra shit y'all normally do with every episode, and, you know, because it's a whole, they run a business, cool, but I'm still putting it out, you know? I own all the, I own, all, I own full creative control. I can do what I want. Um, that's it, bro. I just like having these conversations. And by the way, if you listen to this, Tariq, and, and this is the point I guess I was trying to say. You listen to the Candace Owens episode, where I agreed, I agreed. Where I disagreed, I tried to make some pushback. But we're not beefing. Bro, it's the same with Tariq. Yo, bro, I agreed a good amount with Tariq Nasheed, too. And then I pushed back on a bunch. Bro, but it's two conversations that's op on the opposite sides of the aisle. These days... Niggas is too pussy to really talk to certain people. Like, they don't want to just have the conversation. They only want to talk in the echo chamber. I don't even want no nigga who fully agree with me. I want somebody who disagree with me a little bit. That's why I couldn't wait to talk to Tariq Nasheed. Tariq Nasheed, he been preaching FBAs, FBAs, foundational black Americans. Nigga, I was born in Jamaica. I'm what you consider a non-FBA. He's been kind of, his, his side is like, niggas like me don't deserve um, reparations, this enter, this enter. Shit, and I, and I sat with him and, Went back and forth about FBAs versus this nigga. Me and him, we debated because I made a, I made a, I made another statement that some people didn't like when I said, "Yo, I feel like immigrants come over, black immigrants sometimes come over here and work harder than some black uh, 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 um, um, African Americans." Some people didn't like that shit. You know what I did? I sat and I debated the shit with with Tariq. I like the, the that's the only way I could do podcasts and shit like that. I want to have conversations with people I don't agree with, people who I'm trying to understand. And I had a great week going from Tariq Nasheed, going to Candace Owens. And I would love to talk to people who just ain't the fucking safest. So I'm really happy about both of them. I think if you go into an open mind, I can't tell you what to think, but I think you'll be able to think for yourself. And I'm not one of them people like, you see most of them niggas like, this is what I tell you. What I say about that bitch ass nigga? What's that, what's that whole ass nigga name? Um, Marcus Lamont Hill, I'm still keeping it like that. Marcus Lamont Hill, I see you, nigga. I'm spitting your face, nigga. You try to just throw dirt on my name on some crazy shit during the worst time when you know niggas is trying to troll this and third. I'm not playing with a nigga like you. Definitely catch a little assault charge for you. I don't care, nigga. You're a whole bitch. Straight up. And, nigga, when you see me, you should expect the spit. Facts. Off rip. Me security, you security. Don't care, nigga. I ain't gonna lie Just watching a nigga Who don't even watch And follow what I do Just try to carry An internet narrative on me I'm like nigga You don't even know Nothing about me You just trying to Oh okay But that's the type of nigga You are Cause you one of them Ambulance chasing niggas Who just You're very present When you gotta Feel like you're talking On the behalf of black people Except the nigga Who you're trying to Kick down Is like A black man too So you unviolating Off rip I can't nigga, I can't wait to see him In his face But um Yeah Other than that these are the conversations I'm just kind of happy to have. And, um, you know, other than that, like, yo, I, if, yo, you got, uh, I can't wait to put out this Tariq Nasheed shit. You, you have to be a dick rider to agree completely with me or completely with him. You're going to agree some, like, I, I don't even want to give it away. But, like, we just kind of got into it. It's cool. And I like it. And he was a very cool dude, very polite, and he's super hilarious. That nigga Tariq is 